Five. Ken, do you feel uncomfortable with Mike being here? You're going to be the reason I'm fat again one no, day. No, no, no. Excuse me, I'm I caused a car accident the other day. <laughs> wait, wait, what? <laughs> like, I'm in no spot right now to get after Ken, but after putting these headphones back on, I'm a little pissed. <laughs> Fire it up, yeah. Fire it up. Hey, guys, I, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but I forgot to click record on this. There's no, no fucking way. No. 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 Whoa. <laughs> round two. <laughs> this is round three now. Round oh, three, baby. We, uh, uh, we just filmed the entire podcast and Ken forgot to hit record. It was so good. <laughs> it was so good. Funny uh, jokes, too. <laughs> Yeah. Like funny jokes that just won't ever hit the same. You can't it recreate that. Content. Like it's just in the garbage. Like I'm in no spot right now to get after Ken, but after putting these headphones back on, I'm a little pissed. Too. Fire it up, yeah. Fire it up. Yeah, we had to get up and walk away. You know, let it cool down yeah, and sit back down, and it just got just got real again, dude. I'm you, pissed off. I just binge ate a whole box of Cheez-Its down there. I was kind I wasn't of, gonna drink this morning. <laughs> yeah, dude. No, it was funny. You guys all walked off, like, blowing off some steam, just getting reset. CJ goes, should we just run it tomorrow? <laughs> <laughs> like, no, we're good. We're good. We're good. Ken, yeah. just get out of here, bro. You know, it's, hey, he feels bad, though, and he yeah. knows he messed up because Evan put him over his knee and gave him a bare-bottom spanking. <laughs> oh, my. When, yeah. B before we do start, He's though. good, though. Uh, uh, are they recording? Yeah. Can we get someone else to check? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it says record on there now. He's right? like, uh, what does wreck mean? <laughs> <laughs> so we're live? Yeah. All right. So we're back. We got Jake on the podcast. Not necessarily as like an interviewed guest, but you're more of a homie guest. Yeah. Today. Yeah. Just Thanks, bro. Yeah, Good welcome, to be brother. back. Oh, Round two. Wait. Why'd you leave, bro? Yeah, thanks yeah, for that again. Just, uh, just to ask him that again. Yeah, nah, yeah. Nah, nah. That was the opener, and it really threw me <laughs> off guard, and everyone laughed. And it was so funny, but you missed it because Ken didn't hear record. <laughs> 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 Almost as funny the second time. Yeah, yeah. yeah this dude, is, uh, good to have you. Look at the setup right now. And yeah, we're rolling five mics deep. I yeah, love it. Baby. At least on this side. We had to take the mic away once uh, Ken, you know. Messed up. I'm yeah. sorry. Yeah. We already had this whole podcast mic privileges. just going back to get yeah. No, no, no. It, but yeah, this is nice. We got to get another mic. So we have six, and then we'd have Jamie over there. He could defend mm -hmm. himself a little bit. I would have been really scared to have six mics uh, or five at the first start, but we've gotten really good at you know letting each other talk. Yeah. Like at the beginning, I don't think I would have been able to. Like it's just a lot of like it's a big group. How are you gonna do it? But I agree, Ryan. Can you or get us another mic for next next week? Yeah, Ryan, Getting you missed boys. out. We were kind of talking about uh, you're kind of balling, and everyone's wondering where their podcast money is. And I just envision you looking like uh, the the Bang Energy owner at one point, just getting out of your TRX, just with a big life wide open podcast chain and everything. Ryan's running it like a true boss. He's just sitting back today, not doing anything. <laughs> yeah, just watching, you know, counting his hundreds, yeah, counting his money. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. God, Ryan wearing an iced out chain. No. This is life wide open <laughs> podcast. <laughs> Meanwhile, we're all like, "Hey, have you gotten paid at all for the podcast yet?" No, you'll know when when Ryan's really balling when someone else starts doing the ads. Yeah, no, Ryan. <laughs> oh, Ryan's fuck. really hands off. He'll be on an island in like yeah, yeah, Puerto Our, Rico. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, all Chilling. jokes aside, I think I kind of want a life wide open chain. That might go hard. That it would, would go. <laughs> if anyone's going to pull it off, it'd be you, Ev. Dude, we oh, like. In your donk, bro? That's what I'm saying. Like, oh. But that's Evan's next surprise, but we accidentally make it say life wide open podcast. <laughs> <laughs> 20,000 cut, yeah. cut the podcast yeah, And with Z Boys TV, it's like the whole perfect thing. Yeah, the chain goes like weirdly hard but it said podcast at the <laughs> bottom and everyone's like oh, what the fuck? ev you really could pull off like a chain though especially one with like a what do you call diamonds it? Like a, a medallion yeah Pendant, like i could yeah. see it like a steve will do it style like heavy chain with something because it just fits your like vibe you know like it doesn't look off you driving the donked out el camino like you're just like oh yeah i mean that 
That's who I'd expect to hop out of there. It feels I, wrong and right at the same time. Equal mix. But you love that, don't you? No, I, yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> Quite literally, I'm not poking fun. I'm just entertained by it. But the amount of times that I've caught you leaning up against something, you know, 10, 20, 30 feet away from the El Camino, just smiling. Staring I mean, at it. Dude, taking it all in. I came out of Menards the other day and looked across the parking lot and, and laughed like just a little bit. Now you got the thing, like the, it's like the most car guy thing ever, where you hop out of the car and then as you're walking away, you're like constantly staring at it. You're the going back, back, you do like you four do look backs take. on the way in. Yeah, you ever done that before? I suppose you never would have done that with your Raptor. You never glance at yeah. the Raptor a time or two. Yeah, no. just like making know. sure you didn't leave the door open. <laughs> 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 Turn the key off. Yeah. <laughs> I only leave the fridge door open. <laughs> That's true. You do. I did have you to get after you. Yeah, I came to the shop the other morning, and the fridge door was open. <laughs> I said, there's only one little gremlin running around here late at night leaving fridges open. Dude, Honest mistake. <laughs> I was driving Ryan's TRX earlier today that he bought with all the podcast money uh, that he doesn't pay us with. <laughs> yeah, I was wondering that. I parked next to him the other day. I, I looked at his truck, and I looked at mine. I said, Something's not right here. <laughs> <laughs> something, something feels off. I was like, He's wait. getting some extra money somehow. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, you got nice wheels. Lift it up. It's already a nicer truck. More lights than a Christmas tree. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's a fast truck. So, like, every single time that you come to a stop sign, you have to do, like, a full throttle pull away from it. Yeah, he noticed his tank was empty when he hopped back <laughs> in. <it. laughs> Actually, Ryan, sit in on this because I'm curious to hear your take on it. It's got 37s, which are massive tires. I think they're, what, 13 wide? It's a, it's a big wheel. I was fighting for my life just to keep that thing on the road. I was darting from lane to lane. I was hitting, I was hitting like, each each side of, of the whites. Really? Yeah, bro, that thing is pulling all over the place. What'd you do to it? I didn't do it. I drove it. It drove fine when I... When I drive it, <laughs> it is a little dirty. Dude, when I drove no it back from way. heydays, but but I mean, you get used to it. Yeah, I mean, it's just a it's just a big truck with it's a big motor in now, the front. Yeah. You know, I mean, it's just something you got to get used to. I think it's the wheel. And, I think it's got to be the tires and the 100%. the lift. But <laughs> this is safety. Maybe you just need like a alignment. Legit, like bobbing and weaving just to keep that thing straight. It's got two extra cylinders <laughs> in your uh, little WAP. Yeah. That's, what it was. that's probably mm-hmm. what it was. Couldn't handle the extra two cylinders. No, yeah. I mean, if you want a highway cruiser, 37 by 13 and a half Ridge Grapplers is not your <laughs> ideal tire choice. Yeah, I suppose it does make sense. It's fun, though. Yeah, I will say. I, Must uh, be nice. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Must be nice, right? Yeah. Dude, all those ads that everybody hates, they're finally starting to pay off. I'm surprised you're here right now. You're not sitting on an island. I was sitting on the beach to, drinking was, a pina colada. I was, I was trying to get out of here, but my truck was out of gas, so I had to come do a couple more ads so I could <laughs> fill it up, you know? One of the comments I laughed the hardest at the last time we did the podcast is when you had, like, a back-to-back ads, and someone's like, I feel like Ryan's ads is when you wake up at 2 a.m. and George Lopez is popping up <laughs> on the screen. <laughs> Honestly, that's, that's flattering compared to, like, them being like, I hate ads. I hate when Ryan does ads. Right, Ryan so, does have some serious hype behind his ads. Like, everyone's yeah. talking about him. Yeah. 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 I mean, it's a whole topic. Like, we could dive into it. We don't need to today, but... We'll just let them serenade you guys well, no, halfway I feel through like this podcast. If you guys are lucky, you might even hear a couple today. I you think will. <laughs> right there. <laughs> right there, he's doing right. in. Yeah. I think Ryan should start his own podcast, but <laughs> just do ads. Can you want <laughs> pulling up Ken, bills you, or what? What are you doing right now? <laughs> Ken, as if you what? hadn't done enough. <laughs> what are you doing? Ken, trying just putting up don't bills. touch anything he's trying anymore. Trying to get me to pay for his bills. Are like, you pulling oh, up invoices right now? As like the most easily the most tech savvy person in the group, <laughs> I still don't know how you struggle to fill Jamie's shoes. <laughs> Damn, that was harsh. I typed. Okay, that was right. harsh, yeah. bro. That I, was harsh, Mike. <laughs> It genuinely surprises me. <laughs> dude, leave the guy alone. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> alone Mike, you asshole. Sorry. Oh, yeah. Jesus, dude. That was tough on him. Oh, he's already had that. a hard morning. Uh, Mike, what's uh, your deal? Uh, <laughs> just tell him he's bad at his job right on the yeah. podcast with all these people. That was no, I'm saying he's got big shoes to fill. Uh, yeah, he, he said that he can't fill them. <laughs> leave. Oh, okay, okay. Then it is a little bit of a soft spot. I didn't realize that he... Came out and said that I can't fill those shoes. No, you, <laughs> you said, said that. that dog. Just out he of nowhere, man. Like, everyone's having a good day. <laughs> I feel uncomfortable oh, man. now. Just, just laughing, you know, sorry. having a good time. Can I guess. Grab, can it, you grab Ken a tissue, please? If we're in the mood of calling people out, oh no. 
Jake, what's up with the shirt size over here? Dude, <laughs> come on. I thought we were going to forget about this. All right. It's fine. I'm, I'm I'm in between sizes. I thought I was like a medium large. No, you ain't in between sizes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You're just rushing the wrong size. Okay. Well, I used to be like XL, and I used to love like super baggy shirts, right? Like 4X. Remember all the rejects? Yeah. Still wear the they shit They weren't out baggy of. on you, though. They were just fitting. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, bro. I know. I know. <laughs> but then, like now a large, it felt too big. So I put on the medium. It felt good. But then when you wash it, it goes... <laughs> So what are you doing? Are you trying to work your way down to a small or what? No. <laughs> oh, that's what, yeah, you threw the medium large in just yeah. in case you can dabble in the small. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> medium large. He's covering three sizes yeah. of shirts right now. <laughs> what size t-shirt are you? Small, medium, or large? <laughs> yeah, whatever you got. <laughs> I'm in between, and I just... <laughs> just trying to fit in. It's your own brand, man. It's your own brand. Yeah, it's you like should, you should good, right? Could you even get your own shirt in your own size? <laughs> You should start by trying to fit into your T-shirt. <laughs> but you're down to a medium because... No, how much no, are you? he's okay. not. He did, to he's more down to a large, but you're looking great, Jake. <laughs> yeah, you you, you yeah. lost yeah. damn near, what, 50 pounds now? Yeah, two pounds away. And my goal is like... My goal is 170... So I was 225. My goal is 175. Just to say I actually lost 50. That's crazy. 177 50 last Friday, yeah. That's actually wow. insane. What are you doing to lose 50 pounds? Uh, I basically, so what I do is... Quit jerking off. Yes. <laughs> are you kidding me? Knocks all the people that had my back last video. <laughs> uh, so me and Cody go to the gym every morning. I'll like run... T- <laughs> yeah, it's not considered... <laughs> it's not considered jerking off if you have... Uh, help. <laughs> Knocks all the people that had my back last video. <laughs> What do you mean by that? What, what does that mean? <laughs> they're, they're like, <laughs> uh-uh. 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 What? Well, well, like, they're like, <laughs> yo. Hold on. Do you think people were against you? No, no. I was just like, they were like, I yo. I can't get behind you. No, they were like, <laughs> Comment section. Yeah. Now that I found Unacceptable. out, Jake, but Jake doesn't jerk off anymore. I've really lost a lot of respect. <laughs> yeah. for like, Unsubscribe because of no jerks. <laughs> <laughs> no, I meant oh. like uh, the guys that just thought it was funny. They could have left that out, but good, good ops too. <laughs> yeah. You know, whatever. Yeah. Sorry, I'm sorry. That's all right. <laughs> Okay, back That's good. to what we're saying. You uh, lost 50 pounds. Yeah, yeah, and you asked how I did that. I quit jerking off. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, I literally, all I just started doing was just, like, kind of, like, overdid it. I just started, like, running two miles every day and then uh, eating better. I, like, whatever. And then I started just boxing at night and stuff. So I just, like... So excessive. two workouts a day. Yeah, two workouts Ooh. a day, and then I try and, like, limit myself. It was, like, 1,800 calories a day. Hell, yeah. That is overdoing it, folks. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's impressive, I mean, you Jacob. led with that. You said, so basically, I just overdid it, you know? Uh, or, how, I mean, how long did it take to lose 50 pounds? Like, how long have you been doing this for? Uh, dude, so the craziest part is, like, the last 10 has been, like, the hardest. So I lost oh, maybe yeah. 40 in, like, two months. You got to probably chop off a limit at this point. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, like, the last 10 pounds took forever, and I'm just literally, at this point, just trying to force it to happen so I can say I did it. And then I'm just straight cheeseburger. And now I'm actually wondering, like, how funny of a battle would it be if you're like, yeah, I got two pounds left. Like, you're going to be battling now with, like, gaining muscle weight. Exactly, yeah. Like, you know, like, there's not a m- much fat left on you, you believe it or not. You could just quit eating, go frail, like that frail look. Mm-hmm. Just to get you that know? brittle and like bones. We could, we could get you in the sauna. You remember? Uh, I bet you could lose two pounds right in the sauna today after this. Honestly, maybe if I did start, you know, boinking it again, It'd lose some lose, weight. Uh, yeah. 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 Pent maybe. up in your nuts. Maybe. Maybe. But that is... Wicked impressive. Yeah, it felt I mean, good. It's probably the only time I'll do that in my life. At least I did it. What's like your goal? Get back to weight. Like you said, you're like, I'm gonna lose 50 pounds and I'm going back to cheeseburgers. Where do you want to be? I want to be like at a good 190, like a, a yeah, muscle 190. Fair. Yeah, just under like 200. Because after that, dude, it just kept going. Like the scale when I almost saw 130, I was just like, damn, that's big. Oh, 230. 230. Yeah, I was like, No, 230. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. And I just, like, the reason I wanted to do it, I, like, ran to the end of my driveway one day to get the mail, ran back, and halfway I was like, (sighs) and I was like, holy, this ain't cool. It wasn't the Let's Fiesta (laughs) No, no, no. That was a long time ago. (laughs) It is funny that, like, that can go a long ways. Like, you're like, why am I gassed right now? And it can change your whole mindset. But we do that when we go snowmobiling, and we're just 
dead compared to people who do it like all the time. And then we're just like, yeah, a couple more days of this shit. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know, we never, start working out. Yeah, 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 yeah. We never really do, but it's the altitude. Yeah, mm. always blame it on the altitude. Yeah, when in doubt, blame it on the altitude. I like that. It's a good remix. Blame it on the a- 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 altitude. How have we never <laughs> sang that one around the mountain? So what? <laughs> CJ. <laughs> yeah. I love that. I can tell. All of us marching a little line. Blame it on the altitude. No, there's no way we can mar- march Man, in the same. Man, I can't believe we've never marched to this. Uh, wait, we haven't yeah. seen that on the march. Who's trying to march out there? I'm not, dude. It's gonna gas me out, bro. March. Then you blame it on the altitude. I'm really, I am really looking forward to uh, every t- every time I look right. Bro. Every time I look right over to Ben and I'm like saying some shit that obviously could be. Uh, laughed at or scoffed at i can see when cj makes a face based on ben's face it's great <laughs> yeah. <laughs> look back. yeah i don't even have to mirror. look at him howdy everybody you guys are blessed with my presence and my voice today because today's episode is sponsored by nord vpn many of us have heard about using vpns for many different reasons but recently i became more aware of the true dangers and ways hackers can get your information whether it be password attacks phishing malware ransomware or something new that i just learned malvertising basically if you click on an ad that might read something like evan's secret to getting a big hog or something some nonsense like that. Uh, Just by clicking the ad and opening the website, hackers can get the information they need to attack your device and steal your information. So that's why it's important to use NordVPN to protect yourself against numerous forms of cybersecurity threats. VPNs create an encrypted tunnel for your data, protecting your online identity by hiding your IP address and allowing you to use public Wi-Fi hotspots safely. This all sounds really bad and scary, but not to worry because we've got an exclusive deal for you. Grab the NordVPN deal at nordvpn.com com slash wide open and get extra subscription time try it risk-free now with 30 day money back guarantee thanks to nordvpn for sponsoring our show uh you guys ready for a new topic yeah for yeah sure. okay i uh i caused a car accident the other day <laughs> wait wait what yeah. can you maybe airdrop that video to ken yeah oh actually we caused two car accidents me and cody oh. caused yeah I, I was talking about that, different. Huh? Yeah. oh okay yeah. So the first car accident we caused, me and Cody were downtown being mischievous. And uh, anyways, our buddy Tom was like rolling through town. You and guys were taking out stop signs, weren't you? No, no. This, oh. this, yeah, <laughs> that would have been pretty good, though. Yeah. We got a whole bunch at home. Um, so Tom never sees us downtown because I just don't like to go downtown that much. Cody starts going all the time. He's like, yo, come with me. And obviously you and Ryan convinced me. You're like, dude, if I was you, I'd be going downtown. Well, I'm like, yeah, you know what? That's <laughs> right. our fault. Yeah, no, this yeah. is your guy's <laughs> fault. fault. Yeah, yeah, you guys are in the... Police report. Yeah. yeah, yeah. They it says they encouraged him to go out. <laughs> Who is they? Uh, Ryan and CJ. Although yeah. they weren't present. Yeah. Well, okay. they All weren't right. present. Okay. All right. So, what, so what go now? out and find a nice gal. Yeah. So we just got dropped off, and we're walking down the sidewalk, and our buddy Tom sees us, and he's hanging out the window. He's like, "Yo, what up?" And we're like screaming, "Like, yo, we're downtown!" And he's like not paying attention, and there's a car in front of him, and he's like looking at us, and he just fully rear ends the car in front of him. We're like, "Oh man, that sucks." Then we just go into the bar and ditch them. We're like, we don't want to be part of that. That's not our problem. <laughs> and uh, the second car accident I caused is, uh, this isn't my fault. All in one night? No, this is like <laughs> a day later. Oh, oh okay. yeah, yeah. Okay, Same way weekend. better. But uh, I got new tires put on my Mustang, and I called this place. I'm like, hey, I need uh, tires put on and oil change. I'm like, I have the tires in the back of the car, have the oil. You guys just got to drop it, do it quick. And he's like, yeah, I'll fit you in. Just he's like, come in at two. I'm like, cool bring it in. They do it real quick. And he's just like, Hey, my guys have been like busting ass, you know, and, uh, we kind of like fit you in. He's like, would you ever just do a burnout for everybody? Like as you leave, I'm like, hell yeah, I got brand new tires. I'll do a burnout. So I'm like swinging it around in the okay (laughs) parking lot and whatever. Just that's how he repays his work. (laughs) (laughs) Well, they were all like, would you ever just do a burnout for me? They like, you know, wanted to hype them up, kind of something to see for the day. Right. (laughs) I'm with you. Yeah. Ryan gets it. I don't know where Damn. you get off. That guy didn't even have to pay him. That he didn't day. have to do a pizza party. <laughs> hey, guy. Yeah, I gave him. I gave you guys a burnout. Hope you all enjoy that. Get back to work. <laughs> hey, man. What a really strange thing to say to a guy that you just put, put new, new tires, tires on. Yeah. yeah what a way to a burn out to get a new customer here. though. Yeah, you know, like yeah, yeah, job get security. me back in there. So I swing it back onto the highway, and I'm just leaving right 
Well, this dude like rubber necks me and comes flying in the parking lot and just hits a random parked car there. And I'm like, oh my God, here we go. Oh my and that god! That was that. So I was. I just didn't did you around. leave? Did you, yeah, I don't know, are you kidding me? <laughs> Hold on. So you just straight up cut him off? <laughs> no, 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 no. He was looking back. Yeah, looking back. Like, yo, that guy was doing donuts, so See. those guys didn't have to get paid. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! Was that V6 Mustang burning the tires? <laughs> <laughs> that is more impressive, honestly. Yeah. Not a V6, bro. <laughs> like, those if are fighting a V6 words to was Jake. doing a donut, I'd probably be more be like good. opt to look. I'd be like, holy shit, that thing is ripping, actually. So yeah, that's how I caused two car accidents last Damn. year. Should have gone for the three-peat. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Redinch, you almost caused a car accident. Jesus. <laughs> I mean, I didn't almost cause a car accident. The driver who didn't know how to zipper merge almost caused the accident. I mean, do you guys know how to zipper merge? I don't even know what that means. Oh, it's like my one gosh. guy goes, literally then, then revoke the this man's license. So, oh, Mike says you. Last podcast, you didn't even know what a zipper was. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That was the best fucking you know callback ever. <laughs> that was so funny. But yeah, if you don't know how to zipper merge, like get effed. Yeah, you gotta you gotta get on the page. So anyway, there's a ton of construction in Fargo, the town next to us, and so it's one lane. You're coming around on the highway, and then the other southbound lane merges on to the other lane, which then merges another one. So I'm coming in, and I see you know there's a line of cars. So I flash my headlights, let this lady in the CRV in, and uh, this guy in like a nice red Charger tries to kind of bop in and i'm in my truck which as you know it's impossible to drive mm. how am i supposed to get out of his way yeah <laughs> so i'm like fuck this guy and so i just keep driving and like get right up behind the lady in the crv and like block him out and he's like coming in like he's gonna sideswipe me and i was like do it i don't know you know i was having a bad day bad day. Like, damn and money <laughs> no, no, not that. It, it would have been him. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. It would have been him who merged Fresh into off me. The podcast reads. Kind of lit though. In the snap, Ryan sent us about ranting about that. You're like, I got my dash cam on. Hit me. And I was yeah, like, I mean, I yeah, did. It yeah. would have been his fault. And he would get being some an new wheels and tires that don't pull this hard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so he's like flicking me off through the window. Holy like shit. he was all all hot about it. And I, having a really bad day, immediately caught joy out of ruining this guy's day. So we hop in line. He's behind the trailer flicking me off. And I, like, throw my hand out the window, give him the banging. Mm -hmm. You know, nice. I'm just yeah. like, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah Double go, thumbs he up. He looks over at the like, pastor. Was that Jake Sherbrooke? <laughs> <laughs> and, oh. yo, the fact that this driving guy is the it. banging. <laughs> It's legendary. Hey, sorry, what? We get into the lanes where he's about to come around so that I see him do a hard merge across a white line that you can't merge across, asshole. And then he's going to fly up next to me. So I'm looking to grab my phone to put him on the news. And I see him roll down his window, and he's got his phone out. He's trying to put me on the news. Oh, man, I'd love to see this video. I know. I'm, it's got to be out there somewhere. And so I see it, and I just give him the biggest thumbs up and smile. And he, go, he looks at me like this, and the phone goes down. And he goes, see, boys. <laughs> <laughs> and you're like... Everything about what you just did is just like blown out the window. Yeah, and I just looked at him I, and I kind of like shook my head and laughed. And <laughs> just, just like gave him, I was like in shock as well. Yeah. And then he just hit his brakes and followed like way behind me the rest of the time in embarrassment. Amazing. That guy realized he effed up. But I will say. <laughs> no, if, no, I think he just goes, oh, he's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this guy's no. a psycho. I got to stay clear I was just going to say, if that video ever surfaces. I guarantee you, Ryan's just going. You looking at my shirt again, bro? <laughs> stop! Stop! No, I can't stop. Okay, stop. Be it. proud of the guys. Yeah. I know I am. Get I am. some help. I am. You're gonna be the reason I'm fat again one no, day. No, 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 no. I'm fat. Hey, hey. If anybody can laugh at you, it's me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was no, just I think valid. Yeah. I was just saying. I envision this video surfacing. Ryan told it his way, and it's just Ryan. Yeah, three yeah, 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 yeah. Me on the you other side. <laughs> screaming. I put that out. window down. I gave him the biggest thumbs up. He's I just mean. like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, as he's like, it was a replay of him telling the story, and then next to it is Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> just just yelling. Yelling. Figure it out, dude. Oh, man. Yeah, we got to get that video. No, it's got to be out there somewhere. Well, it might come back around now. Ryan was obviously having a bad day because uh, he was doing Ben's errands. <laughs> <laughs> so dude, it it was even direction. funny. I was on the toilet yesterday, and Ryan calls me and goes, Dude, tell Ben to answer his phone. I'm at Best Buy. I'm like, <laughs> 
All right, all right. That's all after right. I'd called him like 17 <laughs> times. I was like, what in the, <laughs> what is he doing what, so what, important? What were you doing? Standing at the line in Best Buy trying to get, holding up a whole line of TVs for him. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to pick up Ben's TVs. I was trying to pick up Ben's TVs at Best Buy, holding up the line. He's not answering his phone. We got some unchecked aggression going on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <clears throat> to be fair. <laughs> to be fair. <laughs> I was a little busy. <laughs> I was just like, avoiding your phone right, calls. Right, right. I think you were. Dude. You just wanted me to struggle. <laughs> no, man. They, uh, yeah, they were not gonna let those TVs go with the wrong guy. Mm-mm. If they, they were in my name, and they, they were not gonna let Ryan speak for him. I even gave them like your social security number and stuff, and they wouldn't give me the TVs. Yeah, that's no, crazy. I was saying they're like, listen, we'll have to put them in your name. You have to do a title transfer later. <laughs> title transfer the TVs. <laughs> yeah, thanks for getting that taken care Appreciate of, Ryan, it, brother. No problem, no. And then you came over this morning and helped me hang them hang up. Them up. How, how big of TVs dude. did you get? They're nice. They're nice. They're big boys? They're nice. I think like a... Sony Bravias, dude. The best TV in the game. Yeah, Mike. Well, I didn't want to flex my TVs, but I guess I'll let you do it. You got some good ones? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, so that's what you're into you now, got TVs. Is it amazing, ones, though? Then? Like, straight up like a mid-grade TV is like... Awesome so, nowadays, and yeah. they're like and so cheap. A cheap. couple yeah, hundred TVs bucks. TVs are cheap now. It used to be like such a big deal, but they're cheap as hell. It's amazing. So, so I was asking, what size you got? Yeah, what size you get? Like get uh, seventy-five inch and sixty-five inch. Damn, Woo! Jacob, didn't you get a really big TV? <laughs> yeah. So oh yeah, and, you did on Cody, order. Yeah, yeah, How yeah. How big? Flex one twenty, baby. One twenty. Yeah. Yeah. Ben's got those little baby yeah. TVs. You got the little boy TVs, <laughs> little bro. Hold on, TVs. Jake. Hold on, Jake. One twenty. Hold on. How much was Hold that? Hold on, Jake. <laughs> is it one TV that's one hundred twenty, or, is it, or is it the four? No. Yeah, it's, it's, it's the one. It is one hundred and six <laughs> on the top and one twenty corner to corner. Is it a Whoa. That's how you measure a TV? How you measure TV? Yeah. Is it a projector? It ain't a projector. Wow. I, just, I, I That's didn't know that baller, they made dude. TVs that So big. basically what we wanted is when you open the door to our shop, you just see a, a TV, TV and you're like, this is sick. Yeah. Yeah. And then you know, just a, ch- a couch and you just sit down and just watch. Yeah. That way when you have friends come over, they're like, what are we doing? And you're like, you kidding me? You see that 120 You're watching TV, TV dog. Yeah. <laughs> dude. Who wants to come over and watch TV? Yeah. Dude. Uh, once we got the me, TV dog. hung up in my house, Evan or Ryan goes... Man, that's an awesome TV. And I go, that might be the most American thing I've heard you say in a while, Ryan. <laughs> also, the sizes have always been like that. So you can get a 65, a 75, let's say maybe an 85 now at a pretty decent price. And then you go up. So let's say the 85 inch is two grand, 2,500, three grand. And then you go up to that like 100 inch and it's just like 8,500. Yeah, Bro, I don't know what size TVs. Oof. You can get like a freaking 75 for like probably 800 bucks. Yeah. It, and as soon as so you light. go up to that massive size, so like I'm a little bit concerned for you and your spending. I'm just worried how much how was that? Yeah, how yeah, much was a 120 inch TV? They're a lot. I just ten grand under ten. No, grand? Under, yeah, they're under ten. Seven grand, grand? Yeah, somewhere in that neighborhood. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's what I mean. You yeah. go to that a big supercharged size. Mustang. Yeah, it, it is a supercharger. <laughs> I'm just glad to know you're spending your money wisely, Jay. Yeah, you kidding me? You could have, you could have way worse stuff. If there's one thing I know about fifty inch TV, yeah, one thing I know about you, Jake, you've always loved watching TV. Yeah. Man, I almost wanted to be on there one day. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, okay, yeah. That's <laughs> Do you think that maybe that's too big of a TV, Jake? I've thought about it, but at the same time, it's just going to be like, are you ever going to be like, man, that 120 inch is an inconvenience? Well, yeah, when you're sitting like five Four feet inches away from, from yeah. <laughs> it, yeah. you can literally only see like 17 pixels in front of your face. You got we're, a big, you got a big room in there. Yeah. You'll be fine. We'll, we'll worry about it's it then. It. You, we'll see who's laughing when you come over and we're watching games at my house. <laughs> okay, one thing I really want to say, and I'm so mad I was not a part of it, you guys. I don't know how many podcasts ago, but when you guys talked about when I posted a story <laughs> on Ken's phone, I wanted to be here oh, the so bad. You were here for that. No. Oh, we got to get Ken probably on here. Yeah. yeah. Ken, oh, can, can you, you get in your career? Or can hey, you get in your maybe quick? Now you're back to bullying him. This guy, <laughs> Wait, I said can you get bully in Ken. <laughs> yeah, I was like, <laughs> I hey, what that. is your deal, hey, man? Being, you know, being, He's up on him. I Mike said, was already quick. bullying him just a little bit ago. I was like, maybe I should step out. Are you going to say some mean shit again? I just, I don't want to. No, you don't want to no, be nice. For the record, no, I'm what? not going to say mean shit again. And also, I just, you know, I just figured maybe Ken could open up a little bit more if I'm not here. 
Oh, it's fine. Ken, do you feel uncomfortable with Mike being here? Sometimes, yeah. Right now? Uh, he hasn't said anything quite to that level yet. Right. Mike, you're lucky that CJ's in between you two. I think Ken's lucky, actually. <clears throat> it's, it's by design. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, it's How? fun story. And it, you, <laughs> a bummer that you weren't here. So if you guys didn't hear. You'll have to go listen to the pod. But basically what I did in hindsight is I. Not in hindsight. <laughs> it's what you did. Yeah, it's what <laughs> Not in did. hindsight. Yeah, what you did. What I, what I did is I, uh, before Snapchat was like big, what it was before it was like monetized was just you and your friends. And that's all you had. And then. Dick, quit trying to downplay this shit. You posted a picture of your dick on Ken's story. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> There's nothing more, nothing less to it. Yeah. I, you I just s- took my phone, opened up Snapchat, and that's posted. what you did. Yeah. And I, I said, What's up, dudes? Yeah. <laughs> that was, and it was on a story. It was the funniest thing. Yeah. I think the, the uh, caption might be the most disturbing part. Yeah, I think of the it. best part was that he was stretching his dick yeah. in it. I don't like it made it a little fucked up. Like, yeah. you're like, What is this guy doing? Not only is he posting this, but it's just some fucked up, like, what's he doing to him? So, you know, so I, I do got to say now I'm, I'm sincerely sorry for that, but I do still think it's super funny. Yeah, yeah it's it's yeah. it's good. In what? hindsight, it is kind of funny. Then but it, it, it did take me off pretty bad. I could tell. By and that. I think what, that what was we, I really want to see an apology for is like, yeah, it, it's funny enough that that I appreciate you apologizing for that. But what about beating him up? Yeah, that was the <laughs> word. I think that's, <laughs> Dude, I think like, that's, that's where it was an apology. apology. I don't. We were just wrestling around, you know? I don't know if it was called wrestling. You were just flat out assaulted. Bro, I'm not going to lie. After rewatching that arm bar, I'm like, dude, that guy is an a hole. <laughs> You're going to break his arm. He's like bending backwards. I'm like, I don't and even know if I can do that now. Because yeah, he punched what? a dick on his story. <laughs> Keep that on your punked. story, yeah. Ken. Yeah, you, should, you don't have the right to be mad for this. I'm going to... Yeah. Yeah, literally. Beat your ass on top of it. Beat yeah. some sense into you. <laughs> Maybe I am the bully of the story. You know, I do have what a you, video actually of you kind on. of bullying Ken the other day. The other day? Ken was stuck in this ball and you were like oh. making it so he couldn't get out and he didn't realize it. <laughs> yeah, I did like he's that. trying to get out, but the ball. Yeah, see, yeah Ken's figuring out. On it. Ken couldn't get out for the, to save his fucking life. And then look at this. <laughs> Let me see this. I was wondering why I couldn't get out of there. <laughs> Ken couldn't get out, and he just literally thought he was uh, stuck, but Jake was what? just behind him the whole time. Yeah, my favorite. Yeah, we pull it off, and you're like, dude, some about the ball was just pushing down on me. <laughs> Didn't even notice it. Dude, those Orbi balls are uh, fantastic inventions. Yeah. They're super cool. I just so wish they were fun. more durable. Like, I guess they didn't. That one yeah, didn't it break. Fine. Did it? Did it pop when the mini truck hit it? Mm-mm. No. That's awesome, but we managed to pop it in our shop right out the gate. Yeah, uh, we got metal shavings on the floor. Yeah, yeah that that's what sense. it was. But other than that, yeah, they they, they weren't cheap. What twelve hundred a piece? Yeah. Glad that we got because they make all different sizes. But did the big honestly ones. coming into it, I was like, dude, this is gonna be like kind of silly. Until like, we had people the blown have done up. it on YouTube, and I was just like, this is gonna be kind of like meh. Until we had them blown up, I was a little worried they were gonna be too small. I was just like, this isn't gonna be that funny, and they are the most fun ever. They're lit. Like, I'm glad that we. Still have them. Like yeah. they're so they're still usable. I thought they were gonna be broken after the hour but, of filming. Dude, we pulled them behind the boat. Dude, it was like the most fun ever. And I was trying to get you guys to do it. Someone, obviously, you were driving, but I was like, someone else has to do this. And everyone's like, dude, I am good. You guys are crazy <laughs> mfers, bro. And I'm like, no, seriously, someone's got to get in. I think if you could just get past the the idea of it popping and you being stuck in there. And basically sinking. Like, that's the only yeah. thing that would have been. Which I didn't see happening, but it, it was. Yeah. Well, I, I don't know from your perspective. Like, your hole was pretty open, but when Ryan's you were pulling was, Ryan, you couldn't get out of that, dude. It was like, it was tight. Why would I ever try to get out of it while, if it was like, while we're getting yanked? No, like, yeah, let's say if it was sinking. It would take so long to deflate. Yeah, as long as it didn't, like, detach from the rope and then you got somehow it popped, but then now we don't have any way to, like, grab it and it just started sinking. But hell yeah. of, it'd be a hell of a way to go. I was, out. I was trying to do a mixture of driving, like, you did driving great. crazy, but not too crazy, where it's just like, this is just not, yeah, you know. You did great. You know, those would have been awesome when we did the slip and slide a long time ago. That would have been so fun. Pile, like, five people in one of them and just. Yeah. We got to bring them to a big hill, I feel yeah. like. This yeah. winter. Yeah, I was just this watching. Bring it to a ski hill. DL just, Mountain. Yeah. Yeah, so we, we definitely have to do that. It looks so fun. I was just watching the Sickos video of it. They, like, went to the back country and did it. Oh, and, like, really? Yeah, they did. And I was like, still, it looks so fun because they actually got 
cruising. I yeah, mean, it was like a full blown. It was pretty mountain. gnarly. I, I saw yeah, that. that. Crazy. Did you guys ever see the video of the dudes and the ones in Russia? Oh man! All I know is they do shit different in Russia. So yeah. I already know it's good. They died. Oh, oh, yeah. He, what what, is what it? I'm talking about? So different. <laughs> yeah, they built different. <laughs> so they're going down this ski hill, right? And there's like a barrier along the bottom. Well, at the bottom, it's open flat. He goes off the side of the mountain, and it's like oh. I'm talking thousands of feet, and Good he is steer. just no coming back. What a terrible place to do it! Yeah, yeah. Dude, yeah. Russians are crazy. Yeah, no, Russians are like that. Dude, like they couldn't find a single better spot. I don't know. It was spur know. of the moment. Pull on the side of the mountain. I gotta have Evan step in here for a real, real fun story. Um, again, you know, it happened. I'm not mad about it. I was like slightly made into an accomplice for this, but you guys might be. I don't know like uh, what Evan was thinking at the time, but this shit happens all the time. There was just way higher consequences <laughs> this time. That's what I should say. Man, what a what a lead in. <laughs> <laughs> I just ready. couldn't believe my eyes. So basically after we did the, uh, the four-wheeler snorkel, we, we have this four-wheeler. With oh a bunch gosh. of weights all over it. It still is outfitted fully with sandbags and weights and all this and that. But we didn't really strap the weights down because oh. we were just driving at low speed in the water. So no. the weights were kind of just sitting there. So I don't like where this you is can, going. I mean, you can see in that other view Ken just had, you can see that there is uh, $350,000 worth of cars sitting. And he's like, I'm going to do donuts, bro. And I was like... I it was like the most skeptical I've ever been, and I still I I shame myself for not just stopping you. Okay, let's I was, see this. I, I, now I'm worried. I know everything should be okay. Have you guys seen this? This was oh, a while wow. ago. If we had that four wheeler. Excuse me, I'm being a jerk. <laughs> 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 oh my god! You're going bag in my mouth. Man, we got dumb and dumber here. <laughs> They're actually the two smartest. <laughs> Mike is barefoot. He kind of looks like a barbarian. So this is why you guys have to sleep in so long. Oh, this is what you're doing at night. <laughs> yeah, I, I love the snorkel, dude. I love <laughs> I this. And it's so heavy. This four-wheeler weighs like 2,000 pounds. Four wheel drift, he says. That's all he says. And I'm like, bro, you're insane. <laughs> you had to have. Thought that this was a bad idea. That thought never crossed my mind at that, that point in time, so believe concerning. it or not. That is so concerning. Well, I mean, nothing got broken. All right, so the first burnout, a weight flies off, I see. I think I thought... And it flew in the right direction. I think I thought, like, oh, the loose weight already came off, so mouth? now we're good. What, what, I don't know. A <laughs> Ziploc bag of some sort. Oh... <laughs> <laughs> uh. Switch Whoa. views, switch views, switch views. No, don't do it yet. The way it's going to come off. Into the shipping oh. container. Oh, man. <laughs> Dude. So, like, that weight could have hit either of the cars. Could have hit anything. Could have hit anything. Man, have you really just live your life one bad decision at a time. <laughs> Sometimes it pays to be lucky. <laughs> you were literally doing a burnout within a foot of my side of my GTR. Oh, like go to, go throwing to rocks other, all over go it. Go cam other camera. How oh, the floor was clean. Yeah, I'm sure it was. That's why uh, the Zorb ball got popped. Uh, I do remember <laughs> the next morning, Ben goes, why is there black dust all over my white car? Man, what a... But basically, I just the, couldn't the believe fact that this is happening is is extremely bizarre. Wild. Is it not? Yeah. Like, no, I... Yeah, like it's, the it's fact bizarre. that he was just back on, he's... Jesus. Um, I don't even have pants on. No, dude, you're in your skivvies. <laughs> Who would have paid for that? Oh, I think I'd just be working for free, for free for quite some time. Yeah, I yeah. think that's how it would work out. I yeah. think that is how that would work. I out. mean, maybe pawn the Raptor. Oof, that would have been tough. <laughs> but no, I mean, then one of us point, has to drive them back and forth. At this point, I'd probably sell the wheels off the donk. That could replace some that's pretty true. serious damages. 
Uh, hey, I'm just glad nothing uh, happened. Uh, yeah. You know, everything always buffs out one way or the other. Yeah, usually finds a way yeah, to. So, yeah. like, yeah, I don't think too much you don't about have to it. Think before. about anything. Yeah, exactly what I was saying. Just do whatever you want. It'll all buff out in the <laughs> end, dude. Oh man, Doesn't it's matter. like three years ago. Jake whipping out his credit card. You'd literally like take your credit card out and be like. Future Jake's problems. Yeah, how yeah. okay, so now that's your future Jake, how how it <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I ran into some issues. Debt <laughs> 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 like, oh. collector came showing up. Yeah. I just wish somebody would have told me. Yeah, <laughs> dude. I wish yeah. It well, caught up to me for sure, but you know, we got it cleared up by now. We we were making some good moves. So when we were growing up, Jake used to work uh like the most gnarly manual labor job so like in return get paid the best but it was still like the worst yeah. it was just like a couple dollars more an hour than like yeah. the rest of us would make and, and like a lot of hours a, a lot week a lot exactly. of hours a week too. keep that yeah. in mind. Like it was 80. just a lot and like because i only worked three months at a time because then afterwards i'd be either going to high school or college jake had all this money and man did he spend it the if dude I had, had the dude had packages coming every single day of not like the most pointless shit like jake was on amazon before amazon before jeff bezos was on amazon i'm the reason like, that jeff bezos is where he's at today <laughs> Dude, I, I strongly believe yeah. that i remember you being like if i can uh average 30 to 31 packages a month i'm doing good <laughs> yeah <laughs> what a day baby yep i will say i've been finding shit around my house i'm like why do i even have this i'm like oh yeah that was like 2018 amazon stuff there just trinkets yeah so many <laughs> trinkets dude. dude i got like bunch of different recorders and just like you know the little flutes because i wanted to learn how to play a uh, candy shop on the recorders which i did i learned <laughs> me and mike did together yeah you put dude put that video up yeah it's a good one i'll give it to you ken <laughs> <laughs> what dude i'm not even looking at him i'm not even looking at him he yeah. just is trying to yeah. laugh and yeah. then i'm getting blamed for i wasn't even <laughs> looking at him there just you got a shit grin bro. going today. What? I want to know what's going on in that brain. You're just like, <laughs> I'm just huh. smiling, dude. I'm having yeah. fun sitting here with you guys. Yeah. Oh, uh, it's, I'm no, watching like this. Great day. Yeah, just mean I, mugging. You're telling the story about the recorder. I'm just like, <laughs> I'm just pissed. Yeah. <laughs> I'm cheesing, man. Yeah, I'm I like that. He's smiling. Give the guy a break. You're like, oh, are man. you laughing at my haircut? <laughs> <laughs> is that what it is? Like, is that? Are you self conscious? Man acts no. like okay. man acts like we can That's see a, his hair. Well, I don't know. He's like, you're. Oh, it looks, you're, it looks great. Well, I, I love I've it. been wondering why he's been laughing and looking at me so much too. <laughs> no, you're just funny, bro. You're oh, that's a great compliment. Funny. I love that. You're just sitting there, just it's, it's awesome. Funny, well, I don't dude. funny. I'm not even trying right <laughs> now. That's how you know you're funny if you ain't even trying. At least funny looking. That's yeah. for, that's for sure. But uh, oh. yeah, no. And then uh, yeah, you used to always have like depending on the season, the toy of the season. Yeah, quads in the fall, snowmobiles in the winter, and then. Uh, I don't know. Car in the summer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Where are you going with this story? I'm not sure, man. I, I, that's <laughs> I a good know, story. Bro. Yeah. I, I had, I was a kid with no bills. I had an abundance of cash at the time. So, yeah, I'm going to buy the stuff I've always wanted and saw on the internet. I know. I guess it's just me just, like, uh, saying, like, I'm, like, so proud of you. Yeah, thanks, dude. Like, you, you guys are the same way. You're just doing the same shit still. We all yeah. are. I was always just proud of your motto. It may not be the best motto ever as far as financially, but you were like, run out of money, just make more. Yeah. But there's a lot of truth to that. Mm -hmm. and, there is. And you, yeah. like, you run out of money, and, and you make more. How do you make more? Work harder. You know, well, work faster. Go back to work, yeah. Work hard, yeah. play harder. That was a reckless financial motto, but I... There's out. a lot of truth to it. I've I've looked up to you over the years for like your lack of care of certain things, mm -hmm. and that was just like one of them of just like man, why? Can't uh, you I? can always just make more, and then like truly just enjoying yeah the present and not worrying about the future. <laughs> Never yeah. giving a fuck. Yeah. No. Yeah. Uh remember when you quit college and. <laughs> Fuck we yeah, we had dude. decals <laughs> made that said "Come, Come home, home, banging." You guys want to know something funny? There's still one of those decals on the Ford Edge mirror. Oh, no really? one's taking yeah. it off. Yeah, yeah. So when Jake quit college, he like went rogue on us. Yeah, he just stopped going in the middle of like the semester. Stop guys, I ran out of money. Oh, really? That's yeah. What it was? So I had like an operating loan just to like live. So I got like twenty grand to pay for both semesters. 
spent that 20 grand in one semester where they messed up is they're just like you can take it whenever you want i'm like oh really <laughs> so i was how'd you burn through what were you buying do you want to know what the last the 31 thing? packages a month do you want to oh. know the last thing i bought before i dropped out i bought a vr system for my playstation with the last <laughs> grand while i was in uh like chemistry wow. i'm like this would be sick the best part was you installed that at home in your mom's basement and put some serious time in on it yeah. after you dropped out. Yeah, no, it was it was so worth it. I just knew I needed it. Right. Yeah. Never I remember that again. we hadn't seen you in a couple of weeks. But dude, you know it worked out. Everyone's like, oh, I got all these like college loans. I paid off all my college oh, debt yeah. in the summer. Yeah. And then we got a Mustang. So it worked Fuck out. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Speaking of which, we need to do me and Ben were talking about at the Roadhouse. We gotta do this. We gotta do a big trip together. And I think we have the best idea of all time. We gotta do like a cannonball run. And we pick our stops, and we tell people we'll pick them up along the way. So we start here, end in Vegas. Yeah. All the boys. And then everybody. Just like, as we go, the group gets bigger and bigger. Oh, yeah. Yeah. oh, oh like they sick. drive their own like, cars. It'd be like a full Yeah, they drive their own cars. Oh, so it'd be okay. like, hey, we're going to stop here, here, and here. You can wait for us, join the crew, like and like we just that. roll into Vegas like 100 cars deep. Because be I was like, keep in too. mind, like, these three here can only fit literally one other person in their car. Yeah. That makes sense. Evan has to drive yes. the donk. That's Evan. the rule. <laughs> I'm down. Oh, I love that. It's a great dude, idea. You rolling around in Vegas in the Just donk? We might not ever gonna see like you again. He's going to look like a local, dude. I might hop out and walk next to it as it rolls down the strip. <laughs> <laughs> Just let everyone know. That's my ride. Yeah. It's my ride. The only thing that I can think of is just like how chaotic it would be like the closer we got. Just mobbing in a crew like that. Yeah, you know someone's gonna do something reckless. That's <laughs> always. Yeah. What, what do you think? Yeah, Jake oh, yeah. is like, because it's it's like I'm gonna do something reckless. Yeah, yeah. And full is, speed. If one of us do something, yeah, everyone man. else with us can be like, oh, I could do that too. <laughs> yeah, <clears throat> it would be fun though. Yeah, I think it'd be super fun. Like I want to like call ahead, and if there's like a drift tracker or a course open, be like, yo, can we rent it for the day? And then people have something to do over there. Ass. How many miles is it to Vegas? Like 759. That's not even that much. <laughs> That's actually yeah. not that, ma- that no. much. What? It's I only like 759 miles? No, it's, it's more that than that. Yeah, I, don't know. So I was going to say. Let's look it up. But either way, I feel like the drive would be so much fun, even though they were all <laughs> right. stuck in our own cars. It'd be so much fun. 1,600? That can't be right. So a little no. bit more than it's pretty fucking fun, though. What Jake said. You put like 3,200 miles on your car in the trip, which is fine. For Ben, that's about twenty grand in depreciation. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but just kidding. I don't know what it would be, but that'd be a blast. I'd love to. Yeah, I think it'd be super down. fun. Just get the whole gang. And but you gotta. So like, a thought behind it was it's a, a contest between us. So like, last person there has to do this when we get there or something. Holy yeah. shit! Like a destination race. So well, like, you know Ben's getting last. Then. That <laughs> dude drives five miles under the speed limit. I think I might be at a disadvantage. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> You'd still beat Ben, bro. That dog gonna be on the over limit. The speed limit. <laughs> But uh, yeah, a bunch of different other okay. challenges too. Yeah, like last one there has to do something, and then you like another idea, cheap car. Like like you have a, a spending limit, like maybe it's five hundred bucks or a thousand bucks, and then you got to go to Vegas because then people are breaking down along. Yeah, the way. that's yeah, that'd true. Be cool too. That would be interesting. That'd be good. You break down in like a like a bad area, get beat up, robbed. Yep. Like that. That's what people want to see. You know, mm-hmm. some drama. Yeah, they want to see some failure along <laughs> yeah. the way. <laughs> I'll revive the old bourbon. Mm-hmm. That was a five hundred dollar rig. Yeah, just needs that would know. go the whole way for sure. Well, I mean, with some big wrench time into it, probably. Yeah, I guess we'd maybe allocate some wrenching time to it. But yeah, I love both those ideas either way. Just a big boys trip. We, yeah, yeah. we cruised to dinner the other night, and so sick. like we all drove separately. It's kind of. I was honestly like the first time we've ever gone for like a little cruise in the area where like everyone's mobbing. Man, I shed a tear. It was well, so the, beautiful the to sunset see sunset really all painted the, sunset. the picture. Here, pop up this clip right here, going over this hill, the donk, crest in the hill. Then you got a Mustang. You're not sure if it's going to stay on the road going <laughs> over it. <laughs> if it's going to hit you or something. Yeah. <laughs> You're always on your toes. Yeah, that was that was a beautiful moment. Dude, Cormorant has great car culture. Really does. I mean, it's pretty much not to pump our own tires all because of us, but like we got <laughs> it is just us. Well, to we be fair, a, there's like, no one else here. We got a lot of variation in cars and a lot of different cool cars and all these different sorts of genres, you know? Yeah. Like we were, if you went to Fargo, we'd have a better car show right here than you'd ever see in Fargo. When the whole band's here, we were talking, the only thing we're literally missing is a Porsche. Like we had a Corvette, you had a Camaro. There's pretty much yeah. everything. GTR, Lambo, 
I feel like none of us are Porsche guys. Yeah. Maybe I could see maybe like Ryan or Ken having one, but I could whip a 911. <sighs> An old Evan, I, I, could feel like I could see Evan that. I just feel like one. Porsches are for like you gotta be like proper in them, you know? Like you're just like a. Well, I'm not proper. <laughs> you're more of a El Camino kind of guy. Yeah, I mean I understand. You know? Yeah. Dunk, or like dunk, honestly, Porsche. like a Lamborghini, like Huracan, like like that's your style, you know, like punk. But Is like punk? The Porsches, yeah. I mean, Evan's it, more Gallardo. Yeah. What I'd did Bam? So. What was Bam's purple one? It was a Gallardo. Gallardo. I could run one of those. Yeah, that too. <coughs> Cut the sunroof in it. I don't need a sunroof. Ev would look good in a Gallardo. Yeah, you would. <clears> purple. You could probably honestly. Trade your Raptor and the El Camino for a Gallardo. And it's all-wheel drive. You should do that. That'd be super sick. Put your snowmobile on top. You could. It just would not be nearly as reliable. Mm. <laughs> and it'd probably fucking break down and cost you a shit ton of maintenance. Most but you could. fun car decisions aren't based off reliability. Exactly. Well, I'm just saying it's something you got in your back pocket. Trade them both in. Maybe Lamborghini. make it through winter. Yeah, run yeah, run yeah. the trucks for the winter. It's nice now. I got a few options. Got the Chevy. That's running great now. So maybe a different truck every day of the week coming up here soon. Are you going to drive the El Camino this winter? Uh, is it four wheel drive? No, um, I want to say no, but I think I'll have to put a few miles on it this winter. Throw the sled in the back. Oh my gosh! Or you could get some like off road tires, put it on, oh. like just smaller wheels, bigger tires, and now it's lifted and has more clearance yeah. and you know usability. Very easy conversion from donk to dirt. Yeah, swap it. Dude, you could keep no you one know, has you said that no. in the back you could always be able to swap on the go like, it's the title of like your article from donk to dirt yeah. evan, evan chef, chef. Yeah, on I'm motor shaking up the car world yeah. can you imagine like, <laughs> like driving it on donk setup like to the moab and then just swapping the wheels on the parking lot and going up all the hills and drive it <laughs> pull out switcheroo and take off switcheroo <laughs> yeah that'd be that'd be pretty sweet though it's like a little baja build it's just like the ultimate. Everyone would be ripping. Like, what, what can you do with that donk? Well, give me two minutes. <laughs> NASCAR pit stop the wheels. Unstoppable rig. I've had a little bit of downtime since my surgery. I've been watching a lot of football documentaries and a lot of NASCAR documentaries. And here's what I've learned. A little spark notes. Um, Dale Earnhardt Sr. was a legend. I just watched a, a whole... You, you had you to learn that? No, no, no. That no, no, no. You no, know, no. I, as an American... I, I, I saw his entire life story. He, like, as like, true came Americans, from the mud. you're just born knowing Dale Earnhardt Sr. is a legend. Do you know why, though? He was no. the best. Yeah, I guess he was just... Have you ever watched mustache. him race? Have With I ever mustache. watched him race? No, I haven't watched him race, but we just know he's the best. Yeah, true. If, All right. if you do ask a lot of people about that, do they'd be like, Dale. yeah, I mean, I, got, I, I saw the crash. Ryan, maybe cut the NASCAR. Yeah, no, I was already playing. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, that was trash. <laughs> uh, I wish the mic wasn't recording for that one. Yeah. Ken, yeah. <laughs> okay, you already stopped and started it again, right? Yeah. He just saw Ben open his mouth. He hit the fucking yeah, end he's button. Like, We're done. So here. I'm going to save Ryan the time. All right, somebody else take over. I'm running out of brain cells. <clears throat> oh, okay. I, I don't know. Can you articulate this story, Jake? Uh, so Jake learned to skydive um, alone, I guess. Yeah. Like solo. And that was dope to me. I want to do that. And then you did it. And so, okay. So when I went to Hawaii, we went skydiving there. It's tandem. You know, you're bol bolted up to someone. And so we go up to like 10,000 feet. The door opens and you are just looking at ocean. And I'm like. Holy, like at that moment, I was like, all right, this is it. Like, and they don't let you like bail when you're tandemed up, like you're going. Yeah. And so the first lady that goes, she was like crying, like, oh, this is it. And the dude just yeets her out the door and she's <laughs> gone. And I'm like, okay, this is sweet. So I like bail with the guy and I just like, <gasps> you know, when you're like breath takes away and you're free falling for maybe a couple seconds, then you get it back. And I was like, holy cow, that was the biggest adrenaline rush like I've ever had in my entire life. I'm like, I want to learn how to solo. Like, I love this. I'm in Hawaii. I sign up for back here. I'm like, instantly, I'm like, as soon as I get home, I'm learning to skydive. I want to do this. You take like eight hours of class. You learn like, so for those of you who don't know how to parachute works, like you have two parachutes, actually. You got one that is your main chute. And if you're like a certified packer, you repack it yourself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, my buddy Ev's a certified <laughs> packer. <laughs> uh, anyway. Carry on. So... <laughs> and then over here, so let's say it's like a, a red and a green handle. You pull the red if your shoot fails. And like, let's say it gets tangled up, you pull the red and then you pull the green, which is your backup shoot, right? And that one is like, 
it it never should fail. It it's like you got to get it certified, it's, packed it's by packed some, perfectly, packed yep. perfectly. You gotta. <laughs> will you just let this story go, buddy? What's going on? This is a good story, please. Just stop saying certified pack. <laughs> okay, it's certified. All right, so. It's got to be packed by someone higher up than just a, a normal <laughs> packer, dude. You guys, this is a good story. You're keep gonna going, ruin keep it. going. Just don't, just don't let these guys ruin. This okay, moment. yeah, don't, don't ruin my moment here. Anyways, you got. This. So I go through the class, and before you go up, you go upstairs, and you just have. Yeah, here I'll get this fixed real quick. Okay, so you go upstairs and you have to practice. Like, oh, you got a failure. Pull, pull. Pull, pull, right? So if you pull the back up, well, this one's still connected. Now you're going to have like a double tangle. So you practice that a whole bunch. And how it works is when you learn, you do static line first. So you just have your pull cord attached to the plane. And granted, when I was in oh, Hawaii, that makes sense. when I was in Hawaii, we had like the Mac Daddy setup. So it was like a gutted giant plane with a hatch door, walking around room, you can bail. Where I was at, get attached to the plane, they open the door and you hang from the wing. And you let go. Like, you have to, you like, it's no different than my dad's plane. You know how there's that little footstool? Yeah. They make, like, a bigger platform. You're flying. You open the door. You stand on the footstool. You grab the wing. And you crawl your way out to the end so you don't hit the back of the plane. <laughs> I've always wondered. What happens if you fall? Then you'll get hit by the back of the plane? Like, if you uh, You probably get lucky. And you, you go down faster than you think. But, so, they hook you up static line, which is, like, there's no cord. Like, pull cord yourself. It's just, like, when you leave the plane. Which that makes me... I didn't know that. It makes me feel a lot better, like, that it just happens. Yeah, because you learn to fly before you dive. Yeah, that makes sense. So, basically, uh, when we were taking our classes, let's say this guy's name is Mike, and my other buddy's name is John. So, John was in the Army, and he's done, like, trooper stuff, a lot of static line, but they have round shoots, so they just go straight down. Mike was just like so worried. He's like, man, I just I feel like my my shoot's going to fail. Like, I, I just don't know. And he's like, dude, it happens in like one in every 25,000 people. It's not going to happen to you. That's how rare it is. Yeah, I don't know the exact statistic. And there's probably tons of skydive people out there that uh, but know. It doesn't but happen it often. doesn't happen often. It's like one in a lot. Right. Okay. He's like, just worried. This is all he's talking about during class. All he's What's talking about. He needs to get out of there, man. Yeah. Same for you. That's what I told him. A little yeah. bit. A little bit. And he's just, yeah, kind of just like psyching himself out. You know, when you overthink something. So finally, it's us three. We're going up. And uh, John was like, yo, you want me to bail first? Just so you can kind of see like how to get out on the wing. So I've done this. I'm like, yeah, that's perfect. So you have a headset on with speakers. Because then there's a guy on the ground telling you where to go, how to fly, where the landing zone is and all that. This is that, your first solo. This is my okay. first solo ever, static line. He's crawling out in the wing, and the pilot's like this, bails, and he is gone. And I'm like, holy crap. I'm, like, trying to see him. I'm like, okay, his chute opened. He's flying. So I, like, get out there. They hook up my static line, and I'm hanging from the wing, and I'm like... This is terrifying. <laughs> and I'm Not like, imagine. I'm hanging onto an airplane. And he's like, let go. And I literally, like close my eyes and I just bail and I'm like climbing an invisible ladder. In I'm like, air. I'm like, I knew I messed up. Cause you're supposed to like get free. And all of a sudden my chute opens and I'm like, oh, I'm chilling. Right. I'm flying and Mike's way down there. I'm like, yo, what up? Just like, we're all chilling or no, sorry. Oh John's down God. there. We're all chilling. And all of a sudden we're like trying to scream. Like where's John? We see <laughs> Ah, just like no shoots all no, no. no. Ah. and we're like holy shit john's or mike's dead mike's dead ah. yeah just like flew out of nowhere tangled shoot like this is a mess and i'm like oh my gosh and we can hear the guy on the ground and he's like mike green one red one like telling him how to do it he's like pull like just screaming at him like pull the levers in order like green red or red green whatever it is and he's like getting closer and closer and closer to the ground and we're like oh my god oh my god yeah, oh my god safe at this point but you're scared yeah oh, i'm scared i'm just like flying like i'm not even watching that i'm driving a parachute right now i'm watching mike go to the ground at mach 1000 right now right right before like i'm talking he was probably way closer or not as close to the ground as it seemed but i'm like i'm about to just watch a guy just hit yeah. the ground all of a sudden, we see a shoot disappear. Backup shoot opens, and he like made it to the ground way faster than us. Really? And we're like, "Okay, Mike's good. Mike, he's he's chilling." So John lands, I come in, I land, 
And, uh, dude, when I landed, here's the thing. So, like, when you come in, you're supposed to, like, flare it last second to, like, kind of pick you up, and then you yeah. run out. I did it way too high, and I just probably fell from, like, eight <laughs> feet out of the air, and it, it hurts. <laughs> anyway, so we're, like, we get there, and we're, like, yo, that was sick. You know, we get to, like, we get to go again, do it a couple times, practice, like, let yeah, go yeah, and yeah. stuff. And we're, like, where's Mike? He was done. There's literally a parachute pile and a suit on the ground. Dude, he crapped his pants no. in his suit. Got in his oh. car, left, told no one. Oh. <laughs> yeah. oh. Are we surprised that he pooped his pants? No. no. I would have Bow. too. But the fact that he just dipped yep. right that, Gone. When you see someone hauling past you, you're just like... Oh man, that that ain't good. That is a truly crazy experience to witness like that. Yeah, it's like well, you're saying it's not. It was common. sweet for us because we we're like, oh, another twenty five thousand before that happens, so we're good to go. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> one, one in a thousand. One in oh, a thousand. it is one. Oh, that's so that's, that's, that's the first fail. That's kind of common. Really. Yeah, it's like if the lottery thousand. was one in a thousand, I'd be buying so many tickets. Oh yeah, yeah that's I'd right. Yeah. Would. <laughs> Big props to you mm. for just doing it. I'd say from going tandem, like lots of people do that. That's like almost a tourist thing. I know you still got to get your nerves up for it a lot, but like to go solo. I maybe did like 10 static line jumps, which is just like alone. And you need like X amount of jumps before they teach you how to fly and pull alone. Yeah. But your first time pulling alone, you got two dudes bailing with you just in case anything goes haywire. Right. They'll yeah. like straighten and you and out. So yeah. Like what it, yeah, are, right. they, are you pulling out like a life insurance loan or? Yeah, I don't know. You want to know something really funny? After I literally went skydiving, my mom did like have me sign a thing and put a life insurance policy on really? me. Yeah, <laughs> that's honestly. I'm surprised valid. it was fine. It was just then. Yeah, no I kidding. She would have taken that out a while ago. Yeah, but it was crazy. Like Hawaii was such a cool experience. So like, I think when I jumped alone, we were between like, I don't know, maybe five thousand feet or three or seven, somewhere low. When we were in Hawaii. We were like ten, twelve. You are so high and falling for so long. And the dude that I jumped with had done over like five thousand jumps, and he's like how squirrely you want to get. And I was just, you know, being like, dude, do whatever <laughs> you want. Like, yeah. just make us. He had me spinning so fast. I think, so he's had a watch to show your mile per hour. We were like going like 115 straight down spinning. I'm like, Bleh! just like hanging on for dear life. And then he just rips cord. And dude, talk about the biggest wedgie of your life. <laughs> like going from that fast to just a shoot. And like, you are gone but yeah, yeah i was gonna say like the, is it kind of whiplashy like in a way from yeah. what it looks like it kind of yeah you go from 115 to what like you know 30 i will say if you guys get the chance i would just do tandem with someone like someone's yeah, got a bunch nope. it's so fun no Ev, you would love nope. it you don't want to nope why not even if it it's was hard a, no what do we have to do to much, get you to do how it? much money would it take yeah how many el caminos <laughs> a, a lot what okay let's start here Ten thousand bucks cash would no you do no really out of everything you do that's, like, wild and reckless. Well, first off, I don't even like the thought I'd be going with someone else because I don't like and they'll let this jack off in control of my life. <laughs> Highly experienced, knows exactly what he's doing. Still don't trust him. Fair. I, uh, I don't... No. No. <laughs> I don't like heights, dude. I, I know. I just find that so shocking that, like, you're okay with doing everything that you do, but you wouldn't strap <sighs> yourself to somebody who has, like, made their profession... Doing that, I don't. I don't like, like roller would, coasters. Like little kids enjoy those all the time. I don't like that. One day when we take an R six skydiving, then you'll do it. No, the first R six skydiving. Because in order to take an R six skydiving, yeah, I'm probably gonna have, have to drive get it all out, certified to, and do a. Yeah. I'll, I'll be like yeah, fifty yeah. jumps in. Plane. Yeah. yeah. No, so I'd rather be I'd rather like jump it off like a couple hundred foot cliff into the water and roll the dice on landing than jump out with a parachute with like a hundred percent like a 99.8 percent certainty that you're gonna be okay versus jumping it off of fitty, a cliff fitty. into the water I that is that. like guaranteed the absolute, gonna hurt roll the dice on that the absolute what? gamble that all of those things are and the one has such better odds but you're like no i listen i like i like my skydiving how i like my pull tabs let's do no i think it'd be the opposite well i, I don't I know like I pull just, tabs I every don't time like you play skydiving. pull tabs there's like a one in a uh, thousand chance you lose or sorry you win so there's a 999 times that you lose dude me and jake were on an absolute heater the other night <laughs> don't forget about me you were too f uh, yeah i don't know no. though i just i get where you're coming from being that you're like afraid of heights obviously but it just seems like so foolproof 
I smell a title and thumbnail coming up. Uh, I, so all you guys are down. Yeah. To go skydiving? She's like, not even bad an eye. Like, I mean, run I, it tomorrow. Let's I, just do it. I would do it if we were like... But would you I'd, do it? I don't think if, it's that crazy, and I don't think it's like special at all. Would the you only do thing it? that'd be entertaining about it is getting you to yeah, go. Yeah, Well, I was like, would like, you, you do it if... Yeah, it doesn't shaking. sound that entertaining. Yeah, really I don't funny. even think anyone would want to watch that. It'd be stupid. Oh, it'd be hilarious. Really? No. I can just see like the guy being like, all right, it's ready to go. We got a GoPro like just facing his face, and he's just like... So I like to think I would have that to shit in my pants and my shoe would oh, be working man. fine. You've been shitting your pants. Probably <laughs> yeah. in the, in the I like to think that if you guys ever saw uh, Jackass Four, I don't know if it's in four point five or four, but Dark when, Shark. They, when yeah, Dark Shark, when they hilarious. when they prank him into going skydiving, I'd like to think that if we if it ever happens, it'll be as entertaining, if not more entertaining than that. I'm gonna like bring a pair of handcuffs and handcuff myself to the plane so I can't possibly yeah, so get tossed out. <laughs> something tells me like you're not kidding about that. I don't like planes. That'd be pretty shitty to be stuck in a plane though. Oh, man, <sighs> let's just keep that idea way <laughs> on the back burner. I would love to go skydiving with an R6 though. I think that's like the last thing to do with it. I mean, it's it's you know it's been in the mountains. It's been in Moab. Tried going on the water. Tried going on the water. Last thing is air. I mean, it was kind of like three locations. <laughs> yeah, straight it's also to the moon. sand, too. But <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, I feel like we're dudes. missing the moon. Yeah, I, I'm down for like a spaceship ride up to the moon. Rip around up there. Probably be cool. <laughs> yeah, we should <laughs> that would be so cool. <laughs> we'd, we'd, that would be so cool. We'd do dude. that, and then people be like, wow, still only one one video a week? <laughs> <laughs> How you do you guys, guys got, not you guys do two? all week to make a video, and all you I can make that. is one? It's up on the moon. Dude. Like, there's, like, no air. They're like, it seems like it's running a little rich. Yeah. I think we your get, R6 is running rich. We get to the moon, and the master link comes off. <laughs> <laughs> We didn't even bring an extra R6. <laughs> Anyone got a spare mask? Yeah, we start like, sourcing an R6. The, uh, oh, yeah, we Venus. go back to Earth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is there, yeah, Venus is Ken. closer. <laughs> Ken, <laughs> all right, Ken, get on and find one. Uh, looks like there's, oh, there's one on Venus. There's one on I love Venus. That. Elon delivery. The one on Mars is a little pounded on, but we might we, be able to kick him <laughs> in the nuts on it. We got to the moon and like, yeah, Ken already had us in the back of the fucking spaceship. And then <laughs> the Airbnb kind of sucks. <laughs> no, I'm not going to lie. Yeah. The space station. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Big wrench is out there with a full on space suit yeah. trying to work on this He's thing. like floating away. <laughs> yeah. Believe it or not, he already knew how to space weld, but... <laughs> We make a trip to the Cormorant store from the moon for some wing nuts. <laughs> oh, that's good. If there's anyone out there, though, that can take the R6 skydiving, uh, reach out to us. Hell I'm yeah. not coming with you. Oh, bro, it'd be so legendary. I'll watch it from the ground. Have a couple Tonys. <laughs> You'd have to. Have a couple Tonys? I'll have to be yeah. pile, yeah. Maybe pile me up good enough, strap yeah. me to the guy. Where <laughs> yeah. Just, I'm probably short enough. I'd be strapped to the front of him like a baby <laughs> carriage. They, they, land land land. Land. <laughs> they land Evan's feet on, on the ground. <laughs> he's carrying him around. He's like walking around with him, but he's just, he's yeah, just hanging. He's strapped. Do you think they'd let me do it? He's got the <laughs> biggest wedgie. Do you think they'd let me do it like on anesthesia? Then I'm down. Oh my gosh. That'd be like disturbing. You just horse tranquilizers. Yeah, that's fine. What are those uh, quaaludes? Give me some of those and we'll run it. <laughs> Where the hell are we going to get those? I don't this know. I was hoping you wouldn't be able to, so I don't have to do it. Stay tuned for that. That would be pretty good. Shut up, Ken. You've got a little smile. Oh. Oh. Ken tries going, oh, shit, it stopped recording right before the end of the podcast. Honestly, guys, that went well. You know, we could have had two. We would have been two podcasts ahead. Mm -hmm. Good job, everyone. Jake, I appreciate you coming on. Dude, thanks for having me. I uh, Yeah, I didn't really. Ben hit me up. He's like, yo, we're running a pod at one. I'm like. I haven't even thought about it, but you really don't have to when we get all together. It just kind of goes. Same time yeah, next week? It's Same easy, man. Psych! Oh, <laughs> Damn, Mike. Oh, that was too good. <laughs> yeah. All right, all right hey guys. guys thank thanks, you. For, thanks for listening. Thanks for having me. Peace. Bye. Peace.